up guys welcome to my youtube channel it has been a while over here if you check my previous previous videos you would have noticed that it has been a while three months ago i'm sorry for that and i promise to upload videos constantly as from now on i promise um from the title of the of this video you notice that the name of the work of art i'm working on now today is called the battle of dawn um i got the idea of making this art after watching a movie called dawn where the scenes are full of sounds and stuff like that so i decided to make this work of art um but there is a but i had a technical issue while recording the video so i will just be making analysis on how i made it and i hope you guys enjoy it um uh, without without any further ado let's jump into it uh, yeah guys um you are starting now um like i said i'm sorry for technical issue um why doing the main work why doing the walkthrough i lost the screen record of the main work it would have been better using that but i'm sorry i lost it so i'm um, doing this to show how i did it from the beginning to the end how i started it so the resolution of this work of art is um 6480 by 2160 as you can see it is like um hd quality divided um, times three so it is like a wide battle scene which the name of the book of art is called battle of dawn so let's start so um firstly i dropped in a color feel of this brownish color as you know that the scene is going to be kind of brown sandy so i dropped this color then i dropped this um like a wide landscape with sky but um i reduced the opacity but increasing the opacity is what it looks like but also i used blend fuel i used the blend fuel so as to remove some of the black shapes some of the black and um, blue bluish sky so i removed some of it to make it less colorful and stuff like that because it's going to be sandy and stuff like that so i used blend if and reduced the opacity to like and 22 percent and stuff so then i dropped in a another um the let me say sun something like that because it might not be planet Earth, but i think i would prefer planet Earth. but i dropped in this um this sun or something like that i dropped it in um, and made it screen because it had blue and around it so let me let me make a clean up around here Okay, so this is what I dropped in next. So the sun. Then I dropped in another like the I wanted there to be like the, um, I want this thing to be far wide. So I dropped in like a little city far away, something like that. So I dropped that in. Next, I used vibrance to remove the color because it looks kind of colorful. So I removed the color. Then I dropped in levels to make it whitish and stuff like that. Then I use color balance to make it look like it's far away and in a dusty land and stuff like that. Then I added another image of like landscape and like like, like mountains and stuff like that. Let me disable the layer to see how it looks like. So it looks like this. Then dropping in layer mask, I cut it out. Then I used you know, saturation to make it color to blend the white place, the mist and then color balance to make it colorful and look kind of dusty then levels to remove the blacks to remove the black area then i use brightness to make everything blend kind of blend together then another image like the top the lands the white desert looking area the lem um, disabling the layer mask you see how it looks like then enabling it to see how it looks like then i added an exposure that the exposure is for an element that i will be dropping in later on it is not me you won't see the use now but you see it later and then i added another landscape um disabling the layer you see how it looks like then enabling it you see how it looks like then 
levels to remove the white the black the black area of the image color balancing to blend it to blend the color with the dusty look that it's, it's supposed to be then levels to make it whitish to put a sorry mist and stuff like that sorry then another layer to like put the A's also exposure to increase the um, dusty look of the A's then another last um, mountain to bring more color to bring more orientation to the scene disabling the disabling the um layer mask you see how it looks like it's kind of it looks white and then the, enabling the layer mask again so enabling it so then i added levels color balance name exposure for the um, highlights then i added another layer this layer is for the soldiers because i said it's going to be a battle scene so bam they are not much though let me see these are the soldiers for these soldiers um i uh, i'm familiar with um, blender using blender 3d software so i made few renders from blender to make this like one of them is this one and this one also so i made many renders from blender for this work of art stuff like that and i dropped them in used um, exposure for the used exposure for the shadows and then highlights using exposure for the highlight also then i used um, pen tool to make some shadows and stuff like that that was that was how i made the soldiers so i made many duplicates while making the soldier like this let me let me zoom out let me zoom out so these are some then another type some some of them are you can see some of them are kneeling down with one of the needle. some are standing uh, walking um, walking while shooting while some are just standing while shooting stuff like that then and um, i copied them to the other side also as you can see some are kneeling some standing while walking while shooting and stomach just standing while shooting so i added many of those duplicated some and stuff like that to just fill in the scene to make it look like a battle scene and, so, and stuff then um some flying um drones and stuff like that because the people on this side are more like sci-fi more like um, modern than the people on the left side so exposure some here you know, saturation for the flying object then this layer let me see okay yeah um it's for i guess it's for the bright areas for for the bright area on the um flying drone let me see uh, for uh, yeah, i made another duplicate for this then exposure even saturation then for the glow uh, on the aircraft then I dropped in another one. This picture and saturation and this it's supposed to be on color dodge actually. Yeah, so I'm going on moving on to the next image. It's another drone. Then exposure and saturation. Then this so that I think that's all on the flying drones. I uh, know I think that's not all. Another one. I'm just show everything at once. That's all. And yeah, this big one, this big aircraft. Let's just say that's where all these soldiers came from. Let me just say that. And then exposure for the um, shadow, exposure, and then highlights and stuff like that too. Then let me see another element I added. Okay, the armor tanks. Yes, like I said, the, the people on this left side are more like um, present. Why the uh, people on this right side are more like future? 
So these people are using armor tank and I used let me see where yeah, this color comes. Yeah, I used Eon Saturation to make this color blend because later I'll be putting another color correction to make everything look kind of to kind of rhyme. So I use this Eon Saturation for everything altogether. But let me cancel that first. So um color correction, as you can see the color correction I use color correction for this armor tank to kind of make it colorful to call to blend the color with the scene. Then going moving on to the next image, I used another layer for the shadows because there is be another tank. Yeah, yes, there be another tank. So moving on to the next one, this is the yeah, let me see what it was. Okay, it's like a shadow. It's for a shadow. Sorry, it's for a shadow. Turned to be yeah. So there will be another element here. Let me see. It's another more tank. Yeah. So, uh, so just to make it more easy and stuff like that then let me see what this layers works for oh yeah they are shooting right they are on the battle scene so they will be shooting so there are a bunch of layers here i'm looking at that i'm seeing and unseen i use them for the shooting stuff so as you can see they are shooting so let me see, let me see everything okay so yeah i'm i took this image i took this image from a like i made a screenshot of let me see yeah i made a screenshot of a shooting effect but i downloaded it from youtube so i used it to to make this this shooting moment stuff like that okay more of that and as you know i would just i just had to copy it to the other side made to make it easier for me so you can see that and that yeah i added the flying cargo also and some other effects like exposure Col um, color balance and your saturation to kind of blend it with the thing yeah then another one you can be one it's got you can we can just put one there so like i added another one then another flying drone which i i made i i wanted it to crash so i i land i dropped one that's crashing right here i'll put small effect on it though it won't be it won't look kind of rubbish like that wait for it i'm coming then just um, an explosion explosion sorry explosion yeah some other effect on top of it to kind of blend it although it's not looking realistic enough for now but um i'll be coming to that soon so i added color balance levels your yeah, saturation exposure and stuff like that to blend it, to kind of blend it but you soon see the work now i'm um, soon see the effect then i added another let me see that oh it's, it's crashing a fire fight um fighter sorry yes, i wanted to see fire fight. <laughs> a, a crashing fighter here yeah. so i added the exposure to, for the shadow and the exposure for the highlights then i uh, on saturation to make it to change the color then another um, element let me see which element it is okay it's a fighter right right here yeah exposure um for the shadow highlight and then you on saturation to change the color and that's it then yeah i added i, I, I painted the smoke on top of this um for um, crashing fighter then this next step is going to change the look of everything three two boom now everything looks easy, easy sorry and kind of um dusty like supposed to be in a uh, dump so as you can see it makes it look better and more okay to view like more done ish done ish done ish then added fire as you can see it's crashing so there should be fire then um i used um color dodge to make it glow like 
supposed to be. Then also fire for this crashing um, flying drone. Like I said, I should put my helmet like to make it look like it's crashing. Then this armor tank is, was caught in action while shooting. Then let me see what helmet did I drop next? Okay, this flying vessel. It's kind of big. I guess this is for the people, for the future people. Then more elements to make it look like it's in this environment then i think i didn't add i, it, I, I had like three of these flying vessels let me see i made this kind of this easy like it is in the in, in like it is far away so so another another one i think it should be far okay it's around here then, I used okay. I used let me explain. I used levels to remove the black parts, you and saturation to put more is color correction to change the color, you and saturation for the highlight, exposure, and then exposure, and then um color dodge to put the glowing effect on the um, um shiny light part. Like, I think it should be the engine or something like that. Then I use the saturation all over it to put, make it easy, easy to make it look easy. Then another, the, another the, like the emphasized flying vest in front. The same, um, um, the same layers, exposure levels, um, the ion saturation, color correction, then ion saturation and color dodge. Also, the next element is like an explosion i want um, it to look like it's more like a battle scene not just a simple battle scene but powerful battle scene then i added a big explosion on this left side use the exposure to decrease the brightness because it is too white then i also use the exposure to make it um, look kind of bright on this side because the sun here might should be um reflecting on this side i guess so I used color correction to change the color a little bit. Then I added a foreground here, like a mountain, something like that. Exposure to decrease the bright to decrease the brightness and also put an highlight, as you can see, because of the sun coming from the um, right, right, upper right. Color correction and also levels to remove the black, the black parts. Then also put um, some A's in front here. Um, also another um, foreground like mountain color correction then exposure this exposure as you can see and um, i'll be dropping some elements here so don't worry about that the, the exposure are working for something there. the exposure is working for something there rather so the uh, the first element i drop is like a soldier standing from a farm like a commander or something like that color correction and uh, color balance sorry then exposure to the to, to this exposure what it does okay yeah it just reduce the brightness then another exposure to to take off the exposure from this left side and then another exposure to put it on this right side so that the sun will look meaningful on it so another exposure or like the to make it everything just to blend totally then another element which should be the fly this flying drone i think i just wanted it to be like it's follow like following him or something like like can just order it or control it or something like that so exposure color balance then um color dodge to glow to make the exhausting part glow and the light on top to glow then another layer what does this work? okay i think it is yeah yeah i dropped in uh, like a robot dog beside him so i think that should be this yeah so color correction that's all because the sun um, i rendered it in a way that the it, the sun looks as if it's there it, like i rendered it in a way that it looks in there already so i just changed the color that's all i didn't make it to add to blend into this to, to this scene then let me see the next next layer oh yeah 
yeah i'm added um like bullets flying around between the two um battle uh, the two left left and right battle sides so i added fly, flying bullets then added color dodge to make it glow also this um flying drones i made them i made them look like they are kind of shooting right now so let me show you this um, that's it they are kind of shooting like a light beam or something like that that was like i feel like that should be what they are doing what they do shouldn't be like a bullet or something like that and they shouldn't be flying without doing anything so i made them shooting like a light beam or something like that then i added ion saturation to to make them ref the light beam reflect on the drone and also this drone and this big flying vessel then also color dodge to to make it glow to make it glow yeah then i'll do also added a fighter right here and also exposure to um, to show to make it to show the shadow so sorry and also another exposure for the highlights and saturation for to change the color another object so i wanted it to look like it is flying so another i doubled it like i duplicated it then added um, um motion blur on the second one and erased the front part of it to make the fighter look like it's flying so i added also added um some bullets running out of the from the fighter so it is shooting and was caught in action while shooting then let me see the next object okay so yes i added like um dust um like particles you can't really see it clearly but i added some particles let me zoom in so uh, yeah i said i added some particles to to kind of put more um shape to kind of put more article interest in it then i added camera roll filter let's 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 check the camera roll filter. let's see how it looks like Okay, so this is the camera raw filter as you can see i moved the temperature a little bit forward and also the tint then the exposure a little bit backwards um the clarity and texture front for forward a little bit vibrance a little bit forward um i, I don't think i used the cuff yeah i don't think i used the cuff uh, yeah um color mixer i didn't touch that yeah color grading yes i used it a little bit to i use the mid tone for the desert a little bit then another and the bluish for the shadows to make it more cinematic and stuff like that yeah so um, i also used a little bit of green i think that's a lot of that's much of what i did here so um that's it for the color camera raw filter then i also painted in like a vignette myself to just make it look more art to make it look more like an artwork more interesting to watch then i also added in some text the battle of dawn and that is more like it that is um all i did to make this um work of art that's it guys i'm um, the battle of dawn i hope you guys like the video please subscribe comment and like if you think this video worth it and i hope it's worth it um like i said i promise to upload videos constantly every week at least once every week so um see you next time